Hi, Ben Griffin, Product Specialist here at SE Shires to talk to you today about trombone lead pipes. The lead pipe is the first thing that you feel when you start playing the instrument. And getting it right is paramount to getting an instrument that feels good to you. Our lead pipes are made to fit every single bore size of trombone slide that we make, from 485 tenor and alto up to 578 large bass. These are stamped with a specific code on the face of the lead pipe collar. For the 578 bass, it's stamped with a BB to begin with, B for 562 bass, and T for 547 tenor. Our medium bore trombones at 525 are stamped with an M for a small shank receiver or MT to accept a large shank receiver. Smaller tenor lead pipes begin with a T but then have the bore size following in a code that's similar to that of the hand slides. 85 for 485, 95 for 495, 00 for 500 bore, and 08 for 508 bore. After the lead pipe bore size code is the Venturi 1, 1.5, 2, 2.5, or 3. This is followed by the lead pipe material. There is no marking for yellow brass, G for gold brass, N for nickel silver, and SS for sterling silver. We offer our lead pipes in three different lengths. Our standard length is 8 and 3 quarters inch, long at 9 and 3 quarters inch, and short at 8 and a half. The longer the lead pipe is, the more stability or slotting it provides. This sometimes can feel constricting to people that prefer a more open feel. Contrastingly, the shorter a lead pipe is, the more open it feels, but the less stability it has. People generally have a preference of long or short or standard length lead pipes. Our standard length are the most popular, followed by long, and short lead pipes trail far behind. All of our sterling silver pipes are long unless otherwise marked. Yellow brass is the most popular, with a fine combination between articulation and sound. Gold brass, as we found on all of our other components, has a slightly warmer quality, but rounder articulations. This close to the mouthpiece, this is often too covered for most customers, so we recommend that you only select this if you know that you like gold brass. Nickel silver has a crisp, clean quality that favors towards brilliance. The feel of the nickel silver pipes is a little bit more tight or constricting than our other lead pipes. We recommend that you try that as well before you buy it. Sterling silver pairs crisp articulations with a more complex color, especially towards the middle and upper overtone. Our sterling silver pipes are only available with bass trombone and large tenor trombone and pair particularly well with gold brass tuning slides. We have questions about some of our artist model trombones and what lead pipes come with them. The Michael Davis model comes exclusively with a 495 1.5 Venturi lead pipe or a 508 1.5 lead pipe. This is because this lead pipe is what Mike selected and was tailor matched to this instrument. The Ralph Sauer model comes with two lead pipes, M and MT, that were designed by Ralph. These are most similar to a 2.5 short lead pipe and are an excellent alternative to either that or a vintage L cart in medium bore. The Colin Williams and George Curran model trombones come with the standard lead pipe set that all of our custom series do. However, Colin plays a two sterling silver on his instrument and George Curran uses a B3L. We got a lot of questions about our vintage Elkhart lead pipe, which is modeled after classic lead pipes from Elkhart Instruments. This is equivalent to a 2.5 short, but with a Remington receiver. This is a different taper to the shank of the mouthpiece than most standard mouthpieces use today. If you use a standard Morse taper mouthpiece, it will fit much deeper in the vintage Elkhart lead pipe than in other models. We recommend that you only select this if you know that you use a longer shank or Remington shank mouthpiece. If you're unsure about what lead pipe you're currently playing, contact us, info at seshires.com. We can generally match people up very well with a short conversation.